How's your day, mga lodi? And welcome to my channel. Today's video, we will be talking about zeros, intercepts, and asymptotes of an exponential function. If you would like to learn how to graph the exponential function manually, this is the topic that will tackle that. So, let's get right away to the example. So, these are the methods that we're going to use. To find the zeros of exponential function, just simply equate the function to zero and then solve for x. While the intercepts of the exponential function is the same as the intercepts is where the graph passes through the x and y axis. So in order to find the x-intercepts, we just simply let y equals to zero. And to find the y-intercepts, we just simply let x equals to zero. And then for the asymptotes of the exponential function, the exponential function of the form a times b raised to x minus h plus k has the horizontal asymptote at the line y equals k. If there is no k, then the horizontal asymptote is simply zero. Take note of this, the horizontal asymptote will be represented by k. Now let's take a look on our example number one. We have 216 raised to x minus 6 equals zero. And then move negative 6 to the other side. We have 216 raised to x equals 6. And then to solve for the exponent, we have to make the basis the same. So 216, we can rewrite that into exponential form, which is 6 raised to the third power times x equals 6. And then we have the same base. We can now drop the basis. So we have 3x equals 1. Where did we get 1? Remember that 6 has the power, and that is 1. Okay, that's identity number. And then divide both sides by 3, so that we can get x equals 1 third. And this is our zeros of the function. Now, to find the x-intercepts, we let y to 0. So, let's do that. 216 raised to x minus 6 equals 0. So this would look like, this would probably be like this one, okay? The zeros of the function. So just simply copy this, equals to 6. Then 6 raised to the third power times x equals 6. And then drop the base, we have 3x equals 1. And then divide both sides by 3, so we have x equals 1 third. If y is 0, x is 1 third. So that's the first intercepts we have. So we have 1 third, comma, 0. Now let's find the y intercepts. And then we will just simply let x equal to 0. So we have y equals 216 raised to 0 minus 6. Okay? And then let's simplify this term. 216 raised to 0. Remember, any number raised to 0 is just simply 1 minus 6 so 1 minus 6 is simply y equals negative 5 so if x is 0 y is negative 5 and these are the uh, location of the intercepts of the graph of 216 raised to x minus 6 now let's find the asymptotes remember the formula for the asymptotes is we have the pattern which is a times b raised to x minus h plus k. Now, if we're going to evaluate this function, our k is represented by 6, negative 6. So therefore, we don't need to solve this one. Instead, we will just simply let y equal to negative 6. And this is our asymptote. Okay, so let's evaluate question number 2. We have negative 4 raised to 2x minus 1 equals 0. Now, if we're going to go back to the rules for the exponential function that b should be greater than 0 
and B should not be equal to 1. So if it is greater than 0 but not equal to 1, negative 4 is not greater than 0. And of course, the other one is 0. So therefore, uh, the equation itself didn't meet the requirements to simplify further. So we have no 0. Okay, since we don't have zeros for the x values, therefore, the x-intercept should also be none. Okay? How about y-intercepts? So we'll just simply let x equals to 0. Let's try that. So we have y equals negative 4 raised to 2x minus 1. And then we will just simply let x equal to 0. We have y equals negative 4 raised to 2 times 0 minus 1. Okay, so we have y equals negative 4. 2 times 0, that's 0. Minus 1, that's negative 1. Okay, so the exponent is negative. So to make it positive, we have to get the reciprocal of negative 4. So y is equal to negative 1 over 4. And that's the intercept. So if x is 0, y is negative 1 over 4. Okay, so for the asymptotes, remember the formula. We have a times b raised to x minus h plus k. Since we don't have k for this expression, therefore, remember the rule that y should be equal to 0. So the horizontal asymptote that we have here is just simply the x-axis. Okay, so for example number 3, we have 7 raised to 3 x plus 1 minus 1 equals to 0. Okay, so let's move negative 1 to the other side. We have 7 raised to 3 x plus 1 equals 1. And then let's simplify 1 so that we could make the same base as 7. So we have 7 raised to 3 x plus 1 equals Remember, any number raised to 0 is simply 1. So let's borrow that information. So let's have 7 as our base and let 0 as its exponent so that we will just simply get the same answer as 1. And then let's drop the base. So we have 3x plus 1 equals 0. And then move this number to the other side. We have 3x equals negative 1. And divide both sides by 3. So, our x is just simply negative 1 over 3. Okay? So, let's copy this information. If y is 0, then x is just simply negative 1 third. So, we have that information, negative 1 over 3, comma 0, as our x intercepts. To find the y intercepts, we have, we just simply let x equal to 0. So we have y equals 7 raised to 3 times 0 plus 1 minus 1. So y equals 7, 3 times 0, that's 0, raised to 1 minus 1. So we have 7 raised to the first power is 7 minus 1 is just simply 6. So if x is 0, y is simply 6. So we have the intercepts the x and y intercepts. For the asymptotes, as you can see, our k is negative 1. So the asymptotes is y is equal to negative 1. So that's the answer for number 3. Okay, now let's move on for example number 4. So we have f of x equals 8 minus 2 raised to x plus 3. So let's rearrange this one. We have negative 2 raised to x plus 3 plus 8 equals 0. Then let's just move positive 8 on the other side. So we have negative 2 raised to x plus 3 equals negative 8. And then simply express negative 8 into exponential form. So we have negative 2 x plus 3 equals negative 2 raised to the third power. And then we can now drop our base. So we will just be left with x plus 3 equals 3 and then move 3 on the other side so that's minus 3 therefore our answer is 0 and then for the x-intercepts 
let y equal 0, so we have already the answer for that. So if y is 0, x is also 0. So we have this coordinate. Then for the y-intercepts, let x equals to 0. So let's do that. So we have y equals 8 minus 2 raised to 0 plus 3. Then y is simply 8 minus 2 raised to the third power is just simply 8. Okay, so 8 minus 8 is also 0. So if x is 0, y is also 0. So these are the intercepts of our function. Now let's find the asymptotes. Since we rearranged this function in the form of a times b raised to x minus h plus k, so we'll have negative 2, that would be our b, a and b, then x plus h minus h is x plus 3, so we have our k is simply plus 3. So therefore, the horizontal asymptotes is simply y is equal to 8. Now let's proceed. Okay, so for our example, we have y over 9 minus 1 equals 3 raised to x plus 2. So let's set y to 0. Minus 1 equals 3 raised to x plus 2. And then 0 divided by 9 is simply 0. So we have negative 1 equals 3 raised to x plus 2. And then from here, uh, we cannot express negative 1 into a certain exponent that would result to a negative number. So with this, there are no zeros for this particular example. So to find the x-intercepts, and then when we let y equals to 0, as you can see, this is the solution for our zeros of the function. Since we have no zeros, therefore, there is also no x-intercepts. So let's find if there is a y-intercepts. Let's set x to 0. So y is equal to y over 9 minus 1 equals 3 raised to 0 plus 2. And then y over 9 minus 1 equals 9. 3 raised to 2 is simply 9. And then move this on the other side. So we have y over 9 equals 9 plus 1 is 10. So we have 1 there. And then multiply both sides by 9 so that we can cancel. We have y equals to 9 times 10 is just simply 90. Okay, so if x is 0, y is equal to 90. So we have y intercepts for this particular example. For the asymptotes, we will simply rewrite this function into the form of ab raised to x minus h plus k. Take note, our main goal is to find the value of k. So let's do that. y over 9 minus 1 equals 3 raised to x plus 2. And then move negative 1 to the other side. So we have y over 9 equals 3 raised to x plus 2 plus 1. And then we can multiply both sides by 9. Cancel. So we have y equals 9 times 3 is just simply 9 times 3 raised to x plus 2 plus 9. 9 times 1 is simply 9. So our k is just simply 9. So therefore, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 9. And this is the answer for our question number 5. So thank you very much for checking this video. And I hope you learned from this topic about finding the zeros the intercepts and asymptotes of an exponential function. So, see you again on our next video. Bye-bye!